It was Einstein that said that energy can't be created or destroyed, it only changes its form. Here we have a little drop of water falling onto a lovely smooth flat surface. It has got kinetic energy, it's got momentum. And as it hits the clear surface, that energy is dissipated. It forms ripples which spread out over the surface. If you could imagine, for example, that that little drop of water was an idea, let's say something like the Declaration of Independence, then the ideas expressed in that document catch the imagination of the populace and it spreads out and it has a wide influence uh, on the culture so that the, the constitution of the United States is such that uh, the Americans become independent uh, from the British. But over time, the original idea, the original thoughts begin to, to dissipate and the water it becomes smooth and clear again. It's as though it has never ever happened. And that's the way that entropy works. The law is common state. But if we look at syntropy, that's a different matter. You have a clear surface and let's say someone has an idea. He expresses it on the internet, for example, or in a book. And people, they're interested in the idea and more and more people sort of latch onto it. Uh, you're not aware of its existence but the ripples are building up on the water all over the world. And one day you open up your browser and it has become concentrated. The idea has become focused. It's ripe and you perhaps are even ready for it. And all that energy and all that thought and everything that has gone on before becomes focused on you. And it propels you upwards, just like a water drop, into the stratosphere. And ideas that you had no idea existed become a part of your life and change you. That's centripetal.